Good morning and welcome to today's video. Guys, my name is Kristen Faith and today's upload is honestly so unexpected, so last minute and something that I honestly was not planning. If you haven't watched my channel before, I've lost 130 pounds and something that I've noticed after losing weight is that I can expect my period now. First off, it's a lot easier because I have a period. When I was about like 255, 56 pounds, I literally like did not <laughs> like periods just did not exist like I wouldn't have them I would have like maybe one or two a year but now I have my IUD and I've lost weight and so I literally get a normal period like every single month not only that but because I'm smaller I can actually see like physical signs of like my period is coming I'm talking about these mamas right here so after I've lost a bunch of weight I have little I have little sacky boobies I'm like they're they're little sad girls but specifically a week before my period they become doubled in size like literally they just become like actual boobs and because we're probably all girls they get extremely sensitive so last week my boobs got extremely sensitive doubled in size and i was like girl the storm is coming so i decided that i wanted to try out period panties i've always planned on doing this video and i was gonna buy some like online but the other day i was in walmart and look what i found thanks period panties so i bought two pairs because obviously i'll need one one day wash them while i'm wearing the other ones i got them both in the briefs look how cute these are like they don't look genuinely cute on here but i'll show you how they like look on me the logo is so dainty and adorable yesterday i started aggressively getting cramps and i was like she's gonna come tomorrow lo and behold i woke up this morning and it's time <laughs> let's put these on so that y'all can get like my genuine reaction <laughs> okay <laughs> okay first off pretty comfortable okay like it doesn't feel like i'm wearing a pad but it does feel secure wait this part is literally so interesting so one period penny equals five regular tampons two and a half regular pads and one and a half menstrual cups that's amazing i have to say one thing that i didn't think about was the fact that like on your period you're gonna be bloated so maybe i should have sized up because i'm already feeling like these are a little tighter than i want my underwear to be on my period not to mention the fact that i feel like i'm not at my peak of bloatedness not me being a liar i definitely feel like the period below but these are the underwear i think the shape is actually super cute but do y'all see where i just feel like it's a little too tight like i just kind of wish that i would have gotten it a little bit looser so that i feel like super comfortable but that being said, it does feel very secure. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing period panties. I just feel like I'm being like sucked in, which is exactly what you want to feel when you're on your period. You just want to feel like everything is held together. I have to say as someone who's lost a bunch of weight and who has dealt with like body insecurities, showing my little, my little bloated stomach on the internet, kinda, kinda makes me feel anxious. Um, but this is just what it's like to be a woman, like literally every single month. For like a whole week, we get our little period blow. <sighs> this is so cute. I love the logo. Now I'm gonna go to work and I'll see y'all in a couple hours to tell y'all how everything's, how everything's going. Good morning and welcome to day two. Guys, I've had this underwear on for literally almost 24 hours and something about that mm, just doesn't sit right with me i don't know why like i feel like because we change our pads and we change our tampons like multiple times throughout the day and i'm not doing that with the underwear it kind of feels a little a little bit icky but like it's not the underwear's fault it's just my mind i don't know but i'm about to take a shower become refreshed and put on my second pair um but yeah my biggest complaint was literally just the size of them like i should have sized up but i feel like at the same time like maybe they should have accounted for that as a period company but i don't know because usually like in my everyday life i am a small but maybe i should have got a medium i don't know <laughs> i don't know and it's not even really the size but i think it's just how like thick it is like it gives like a tightening effect which is great on a normal day because i always just want to be sucked in but maybe not on my period 
I just realized that I haven't really shown y'all what the pad looks like. It's what it looks like on the outside. There are those little like indentions. Like you can see the little seam of where the pad starts and where it ends. It is giving diaper vibes on camera, but in person it kind of just blends in. And it looks pretty normal on the inside. You can kind of like hear it but when you have it on you can't hear it very much i would say the only inconvenient thing about these underwear is that you at least have to have like two pairs because after every single day you would have to wash them um but that's like not the worst thing in the world i would just space out my my washing the loads to kind of go with it throughout the week anyway i feel like i'm just rambling and saying random stuff let me change into my second pair guys we have bad news I went to work and I quite literally <laughs> bled through my, not only did I bleed through my underwear, but I bled through my pants. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so sad, but I have to say, I do bleed really, really ungodly heavy to where I'm like bleeding through multiple tampons on my second day of my period. So I'm not super, super surprised. I was a little like, caught off guard just because when you're wearing the period underwear it just feels like you're not bleeding as much because you're not having to change anything as often not me about to like show my period on the internet but this is educational purposes look at that sadness that is quite a bit of leakage sadness luckily though it was like all the way right in the middle so like nobody had to see it but i did and i knew it was there and even if nobody's seeing the fact that I bled through, I know that I bled through. And I feel like there's an arrow pointing towards my butt at all times. The great thing was that Dylan did the laundry, so my new ones were refreshed and washed by the time I got home. Look at how cute. I don't know if it's all in my head, but the second underwear that I wore was not as constricting as these first ones and i didn't even like dry them i literally just hung them up after he washed them first off they dry really quickly maybe it's because of something to do with the pad but i literally air dried them and they were dry <sighs> i feel like i'm rambling but i put on my emotional support sweater and yeah i'm on that's that's what happened i'm not gonna lie i did kind of have a bad feeling just because I was having intense, horrible, horrible cramps at work. Um, hopefully we do not bleed through these because my other pair is not washed. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a while. Me and Dylan are about to do our favorite bonding, which is I edit in the office while he plays video games. But I feel like I'm doing like a true period underwear test because my chair is white and I don't like to edit with pants on. So we're doing some brisky business, but I'm like, hopefully I don't bleed on this chair. This is actually very risky because usually I'm like, I do this, but I have like extra protection on like a pad and a tampon. But no, we're just free balling it. Even though I literally bled through my pants today. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Good morning and welcome to day three. Actually, I'm literally just kidding, it's nighttime. <laughs> but do I have a lot to update you on? First off, no sheets on the bed. <laughs> Today, I have been nonstop bleeding, literally uncontrollably. I've gone through like multiple tampons, like bled all the way through and including bleeding through these period panties. So obviously, I think that I just, I don't know if we're supposed to be using these. I think these are for lighter period girls. I don't wanna give like my entire consensus until like the end of this video because I wanna give it like a full go for like the entire week. But so far, it's not great. It's not great. This morning for a little while, I did have to wear regular underwear because of the incident yesterday i needed to do some laundry of course and 
I didn't recognize how uncomfy-ish these period panties are. Like they're comfortable for period panties, but then I had regular underwear on for a second and God, were those comfortable. They were so thin and they just felt so nice. Um, and then I had to put back on the period panties and they're just so thick that they're a little bit uncomfortable, but again, not horrible. I really thought that I was gonna love this experience because if I love anything, it's to free bleed, but I just feel like my body is too much. Maybe these would be good for like an average period person, but like literally, I don't know. And if you're wondering why I haven't been filming all day, it's because I've quite literally just been in so much pain and been bleeding and I just could not get myself to pick up the camera. But here we are. This is my update for the night. We're gonna put the sheets on the bed and hopefully they pass the sheet test tomorrow. I just put on a fresh pair before bed because I literally just bled through this pair too. It's not going great, but we're gonna proceed. <laughs> and it's time for my final thoughts, my review, my overall ending to the period panties and my journey with them. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. After like day four, I was over it and I literally stopped wearing the underwear because I just, I could not. When I first tried on the underwear, I honestly thought that they were pretty comfortable, but as the days went on and wearing them multiple times in a row, the seams along like the reusable pad, they started to become super, super uncomfortable, especially on the butt part. The front part really didn't bother me too much, but it was the butt part that I literally could not stand anymore. It was like itching my butt and I did not like it. Not to mention, which I'm surprised looking back at the footage that I didn't bring this up because this was like a big issue for me, but the underwear lines that these underwear would give me were actually horrendous. And the fact that they were like semi-tight, it was pulling my butt and just making it look so weird. It was like I had, it was like I had four cheeks back there. I don't even know how to explain it, but it was digging into my butt so bad. And literally the entire time that I wore these, I would have to wear like super long shirts because I just could not, I could not with the underwear lines. Then unfortunately I had to work a lot this week, which I feel like kind of was low-key a good thing when it comes to like experimenting for this video because chilling at home is a totally different experience than being at work and working constantly but my butt was trying to eat up these pants i feel like if you've ever worn like a really thick thong you'll know what i mean it just felt like i was having like a horrible wedgie all day <laughs> if i had to give these just like a blank slate review out of five i would honestly give it like a three mm, maybe even a two i I think I hated them like at first I loved them and I liked the idea of them But as the days went on I just found myself wanting to wear normal underwear again I don't know. They're obviously not something that I can wear alone on like my first two days But I honestly don't even see myself wearing these on the days where I'm lighter because I'd much rather be comfortable in normal underwear and have like a little pad or like a little tampon in then wear these that's how i felt about that i just felt like the packaging first off i feel like they should have sized up considering that women are bloated on their period but also i feel like they should have packaged a box with two pairs like am i insane for thinking that but like you can't just have one pair for like a whole week of a period you at least have to have like two pairs i don't know and the washing them back to back to back started to become a chore so overall i'm just i'm giving them a bad review i really did not think that this would happen i loved free bleed and i thought that i was really gonna love these and i'm so sad <laughs> i wouldn't say that they were a complete loss though because my periods are very very heavy especially on day like one through three those days are actually it's i think it's low-key a problem how much that i bleed i might use these as like extra protection just in case because i'm known to be bleeding through a tampon having toilet paper and having a pad and still bleeding through my underwear so i feel like the one thing that i would really use these for is maybe as like an extra protection on those really really heavy days which is just every single period the first three days i would hate it but at least it would like keep me from staining things because the way that i wish i could stop staining things yeah which I feel like this is a perfect way to segue into our next conversation, which is talking about my IUD and my updates on that since it's been 
I want to say like maybe a year and a half. First off, I just want to go straight ahead into it and answer the main question, which is, would you recommend it and is it worth it? Absolutely not. <laughs> this was probably the worst decision I've honestly ever made for myself. And I don't even know if it's the product's fault or if it's just mine. <laughs> You can totally go watch the original video. I'll link it down below or I'll link it like up here. But getting my IUD was the most excruciatingly painful thing I've ever done in my entire life. And I've literally broken an arm. I've literally gotten 75% of my stomach cut off. And nothing has been close to the amount of pain that I felt when I got my IUD. <laughs> now, if you got in it and your experience was so different, it was la da di da, like so easy. I, I literally don't, I don't want to hear about it. Like literally do not, do not even think about commenting down below. I got the IUD and it was so easy for me. It was so like, you must have a horrible pain talk. I don't want to hear it. I literally do not want to hear it because the way that when I got my IUD and I just voiced out that like that was really painful, the way that people were clowning on me. And I'm not even talking about people online. I'm talking about people in my life. I had cousins being like, oh, you're such a baby. Like I got my IUD and it was so easy. It was the easiest thing I've ever done. I literally pulled it out myself. And then I had another family member who's a man that was like, oh, she's making such a big deal about her IUD. Like it couldn't have been that bad. What, she couldn't drive herself home? <laughs> the way that I feel like I'm traumatized from my IUD experience and everybody just made it 10,000 times worse. Before like the people who are watching this are super, super scared, there were certain reasons why my experience was a lot more horrible, painful, disgustingly, excruciatingly horrible i literally can't like i can't even make up any more words to talk about how painful it was but i talk about it in my original video so if you already know all of this knowledge i'm so sorry but i'm just gonna give like a brief summary so that other people can catch up on the day that my iud appointment came up i thought that it was just gonna be like a normal checkup i knew that i had scheduled an iud appointment but i thought that it was gonna be like way later so when i showed up saw all of the tools and everything out i was very confused they asked me to get undressed because i was gonna have my iud appointment and i was like oh <laughs> like i did not know i wasn't prepared and one of the big things was i was not on my period which if you don't know anything about an iud it's basically they're sticking a t-shape into your uterus they basically push like a little button and the t opens and then they pull out the device and it's just it sits in your little uterus like this and to be able to get the little device and all of the measuring tools and all of that in there your uterus has to be a little bit wider and when you're on your period your uterus is naturally like dilating a little bit so it's going to be like a little bit wider and they don't recommend getting an IUD when you're not on your period because your uterus is a bit tighter. On top of that, I have never been with child. So my uterus hole was extra small in comparison to someone who has literally had their uterus dilate to the size of a watermelon and pushed out a baby. So these are the people that are usually getting an IUD and I was like a fresh baby coming out that has never even has never had anything touch, touching my uterus and my uterus hole was very small and she even said that I have a very sensitive uterus and like as soon as she would touch it, it was like. So with all of that being said, I told my doctor that I wasn't on my period, I wasn't a mother and she was like, you know, we can try to do it anyway and then if anything doesn't work, we can have you come in on another day when you start your period. And I was like, okay, very terrified, very scared. But I was like, okay, I'm like, you're the doctor. <laughs> since you got your degree and you know every freaking thing <laughs> stab in my uterus if you don't know how an iud works i'm like girl i'm about to give you the sadness this is a utensil that they use and it literally penetrates it stabs your uterus on each side so that they can hold it and then they can actually stab into the hole with like the little measuring tool and then the iud device they stab into my uterus they do my measurement they start trying to put in the iud and my uterus is saying no it's like i don't i don't want i don't want this up there i should have taken this as a sign but i just i love making poor decisions they were all trying to get it in there i think 
if I'm remembering correctly, I swear she invited like three people into the room to try to help her. And so I just like for the first time of opening opening my legs in front of doctors, I had it in front of like a whole audience and they could not get it inside of my uterus. And yes, it was painful, but it was not as horrifically painful than I assumed, but that is because they could not get it in. Eventually, my doctor ended up giving up and she was just like, girl, let's wait until your period comes. It should be coming soon. And as soon as it starts, come back in and we can get that IUD in you. My period came, I think like three days later or something like that. And so she made the appointment and I went in again to get stabbed again. <laughs> and to hopefully this time get my IUD into my uterus. But guys, I cannot explain how much more painful this was. I laid down on the table and I was feeling a little more prepared. Like I was like, it's gonna hurt really bad, but it's like a pain that I can tolerate, I guess. <laughs> and then she did the stabbing thing. It hurt 10 times more, like so bad i can't even i can't even think about it or it'll freak me out and then she started doing the measuring thing and that hurt 10 times more too and then it was time to try and get the iud pole that like sticks the iud inside me and that was so ungodly horrific that nothing would prepare me for what would come next which was them letting it go and then pulling it back out I almost passed away immediately I just felt my whole body go flush and I felt like I was literally gonna pass out on that table I was so pale I had to like sit down for a while they had to give me some water I literally called my mom and I was like girl I cannot drive myself home like I literally feel like I'd be a danger to society if I tried to drive right now because I feel like I'm gonna pass out something that I did not know and found out during this experience was that women's pain tolerance is significantly worse during their period which explains why everything was hurting 10,000 times more but also makes me just think that why does like why does the world hate women like why are we not put to sleep for this procedure why are we not sedated like i'll just never understand especially considering the fact that we have to get it on our period which were like 10,000 times more sensitive during. I don't know, this has like partly made me just lose hope in life because I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> things are just not built for women. This life is not built for women. But also it's made me just realize that I don't know, I don't know if I want children. Like I really don't think I want kids after this. Like I don't think that I can personally handle it. <laughs> this is so dramatic, but like this experience was horrendous for me. <laughs> Like, and I, I don't even know how to like say this, but I I know that this was consensual. I signed the forms. I'm a girl that got my signature, but the way that they were describing how an IUD would feel and how the incision would feel was so beyond different that I felt like I was literally traumatized to where immediately I just like, I just never wanted anybody to even look down at that area i had an appointment where they would check the strings i think like a week later and it would literally make my skin crawl because the thought of anybody touching that area made me want to like n just have a panic attack and even thinking about it now like it just it makes me want to like curl up in a ball and honestly die i'm like getting i'm getting flustered and i'm getting uncomfortable because i'm getting like transferred back to that but my first thoughts after literally passing out were oh my god i'm gonna have to get this out of me one day i'm gonna have to get this out of me and i'm not gonna be put to sleep and the worst part of that procedure was when they took out the thing so imagine them pulling my iud out of me i have had many meltdowns many 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 any meltdowns thinking about this because I I honestly I feel trapped literally when I was doing like the little guideline for this video because I like to like put a little guideline so that I don't get distracted literally when I was doing that I was like crying because I was just getting like transferred back to all of those feelings being in so much pain and then realizing that I have just trapped myself into having to do this again when I have to get it taken out it literally 
I can't think about it. It makes me want to cry. I'm good. Luckily though, my IUD does last for 10 years and I will be milking that 10 years up. I, I can't take it. Obviously with the whole insertion and procedure and all of that, you would think like, oh, that's like the only reason why you regret it, right? No. Let's talk about the periods aspect because it gets worse. As you can tell from even just like the beginning of this video when I'm doing like the whole period panty experience, I have extremely, extremely bad periods. Like the first three days I'm cramping out of my mind where really, I honestly, sometimes I feel like I'm not a human. Like I'm just like a shell of a being trying to stay alive. And then on top of that, I am bleeding constantly so much going through multiple super tampons going through pads going through literally having like toilet paper down there to try and help the situation i will bleed constantly and i just it's gotten to a point where i'm i started tracking my period so that i could start asking off of work the first three days because that's how like that's that's how i'm like the periods are just not great Luckily, they are shorter periods, which I cannot, I'm like, I cannot argue about. That's great. But it's just like getting a long period and compressing it into like three horrible days. But that is my period now. Now let's talk about my period after, like immediately after I got my IUD, which was a 170 something long day period straight. I had a period for like a hundred, I don't know, I lost count at like 150 or like 180 days, somewhere in between there, I lost count, but I had a long period just straight. There was maybe like a week where I had it off because I tried to get rid of it with progesterone, but it didn't work and it just came right back. And the progesterone gave me the worst period of my life. I've never experienced something that crazy and it was right after I got my weight loss surgery so I was literally just feeling like I was gonna pass out. I was so low on iron. That's another story. I'm like go watch my I, my weight loss surgery videos for that but I had a period for like a hundred and I want to say like 70 days straight or maybe more than that. I don't know. And girl I wasn't getting pregnant. The IUD was working but was it even the IUD that was working? Or was it the fact that I had a 170 long day period? Life was not great. And I thought that it was never going to go away, which made me feel even worse because I was like, oh my God, the only way to stop this is to get this IUD out and I can't do that. I feel like this shows you how truly terrified I am to get this IUD out because I just let myself have a period for like 170 days straight. And then I let myself have these bad periods just so that I don't have to like even think about getting it taken out. <laughs> but yeah, I just hold on to this hope that maybe they'll become normal again. I don't know. I am very grateful though in life that I do have normal periods. That's something that I've, I honestly have not had since I was like maybe 14. <laughs> like I just, I, even then, I don't think I've really ever had a consistent period that I could literally track, but now I do. So that's fun. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> We love it. No, I'm just kidding. I honestly, sometimes I know that when I didn't have a period for like three years straight or something like that, I know I used to complain a lot, <laughs> but I feel like I've catched up. <laughs> I feel like I've had just as many periods as any normal girl because I caught up within those 170 whatever days. And I've caught up on cramps because now my cramps are horrific. I. It's like I got a break and then it all came at once. It's horrible. <laughs> now, there are upsides to the IUD and I do wanna, I, I wanted to end off on a good note. So we're gonna say all of the good things that I do love about the IUD, which is first off, I'm not with child. I really don't have to like think about it because I know that I have the most effective birth control that there is. It's literally more effective than like condoms. It's more effective than any birth control that you can think, the copper IUD is the top tier. So I don't have to really think about like anything like that. The most amazing thing about the copper IUD is there are no hormones. Guys, the way that my life has just changed a crazy amount from being on hormones and not being on hormones. Like literally my skin is glowing. I just, I, 
Honestly, sometimes, I'm not even gonna lie, sometimes I sleep in my makeup. Why? Because I know I can get away with it. That's horrible. But like, we're going from that to washing my face constantly and it somehow getting worse. And my face always just being disgusting and feeling gross. Not to mention, I think that when I was on hormonal birth control, I at least gained like 20 pounds. I don't know if that had to do with more like emotional mental health stuff or if that had to do with my actual birth control but speaking of mental health the mental health was horrible i would literally cry every day i would just i was paranoid i was anxious i have like anxiety but it was on one when i was on hormonal birth control like i haven't been like diagnosed but i'm pretty sure i was just really depressed and life was just not good on hormones so I don't know if the IUD is worth it, but being off of hormonal birth control, definitely worth it. The copper IUD would be very much worth it if I could be sedated, put to sleep. Um, even though after you get it done, you're in crippling pain for five days, like I feel like maybe those five days would be worth it if I was asleep. But for me, I just feel like it traumatized me. I think that'll hold that pain with me for the rest of my life. I'm not even kidding. I don't know why. It was just the most painful thing I've ever gone through in my entire life. It was like somebody took a knife and stabbed me in the stomach. Like That was my IUD experience and that was my experience with period panties. Kind of a downer video. I feel so bad. I feel like I just was like, this is horrible and this is horrible. But I'm just giving y'all the true honest experience. I have to say though, when I was looking up other people's experiences of the IUD, Everyone had the same horrible experience as me and I ignored it and because of that I suffered the consequences So I'm like, I don't know. Maybe don't be me. Maybe watch this video and listen to it or don't Everybody's experience is completely different. If you're a mother I feel like the IUD would be a lot better of an experience for you and maybe if I do decide to maybe have child Maybe I'll get the IUD back. We will see but I don't think so. Not my boyfriend getting home. <laughs> anyway, the, that is my cue to leave. I will see you in the next video if you made it this far. I literally love you. Comment down below this flower because this video is all about our flower. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, Besitos. Also, if you want to know anything about like weight loss surgery or lifestyle videos or you just want to hang out with me because you like my personality, Subscribe. Yeah.